Spike Johnson in the kitchen now with a sweet treat for the whole family to share. I mean, I can smell cinnamon, there's caramel, it's glorious. Yeah, it's sort of one of those things, it's, it's the sort of family share thing, I call it tear and share. The Americans call it tear and share. It's, sort of, it's like a donut dough, which has been baked with cinnamon stuff, <laughs> and Philip's going straight in for the caramel sauce, which is great. Um, so you're going to start with the dough, which is, uh, people get sort of worried about yeast doughs and stuff. This is really easy, mm. the recipe's on the app. It's literally, you put all the dry ingredients together, you put all the wet ingredients together. Mm. I've got some butter and some milk, which is on a stove, a couple of eggs. Oh, good heavens, this is Then good. I just take a little bit of yeast. Now, these days, is it good? Mm. It's all right, no? Oh, there you yeah. go. Beautiful. A little yep. yeast. These days, you don't need to worry about yeast. You put instant yeast in a pot, you mix it all up, it just works for you. Don't have to worry about it. Everybody gets all befuddled about it, don't worry about mm. it. Uh, flour into a mixing bowl. You probably do need a mixer. And here's my special ingredient. I learnt this off a lady who made donuts in, Sid in Melbourne. Because as a kid when I grew up, you had jam donuts, which are like a little round ball, and then they'd be hot, and then they put jam inside them. They'd be really small, and you get a bag of them for about 10 for like a buck, a dollar. Mm -hmm. And so I went and sort of visited this lady, and she told me the secret was custard powder. Wow. So custard powder's got corn flour in it, it's also got vanilla, and it's got a little bit of sugar. So what happens when we do this dough, when we sort of start off with the wet and the dry, the dough looks really sticky, like it's not going to work. But as you continue to mix it, the corn flour acts together. Ah. We'll turn it back on. Acts together. And what it does, it takes up all the liquid. And what you do end up with is you end up with this amazing dough, which has now been rested. But that mixes together really easily. You just keep it on medium, let it go, and it will come together. But you end up with this amazing dough, which has risen after about an hour. So you mix it like that first. And then, let's do that quickly. And then it starts to come together. But then it comes together. Put it into a bowl, let it prove, and then you've got yourself a dough. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make 36 balls out of this. So 36 balls, so you take, what you do is you take four, you turn it into quarters, and then each quarter becomes eight bits. Mm -hmm. So then you get 36. Now, it, don't, don't have to do as many as you want, but I like them to be small, so you've got nice little ones, and they work really well. So you just take this mixture, and then you take little bits off it and you turn into little balls. That's a good little cutter. Yeah, it's a little pastry cutter. Mm. So let's just take... I'm going to take four off to show you what to do. I've got some melted butter, and in this bowl I've got caster sugar and brown sugar, mm -hmm. cinnamon and ginger powder. You can oh. put anything you like in there. Cinnamon and ginger? Yeah. Wow! So it becomes very Christmassy, because you know that I'm into Christmas. Yeah. And Christmas is really important. But this would be good on the Christmas table. Are you happy there, Philip? I, I, I can't tell you how happy I am. That's so delicious. <laughs> this is so... And I'm, I'm more a savoury person than a sweet person. Yeah, I know. But this is just... A, that, that's so gorgeous. It's really lovely. I love the dough. Oh, good. With very, very, honestly, really easy. Make your little balls like this. And then you take this, and then you roll it in butter. And then you take it, and then you roll it in sugar. So you've got the same tastes and flavours of a donut. Cinnamon, mm. you know, ginger, sugar. But... You just do this, and then you take a, a big tin, any tin you want, sort of a bunt tin or a round tin, or a, but you need something which has got a hole in the middle because the dough doesn't cook otherwise. Mm -hmm. So oh, what I've got is I've got a bunt tin, which I've started, and I've got all these little ones like this. So they're all ready so to go. So you stack them on top of each other as well? Just, and don't worry about it. Just let oh, them sit on top of each other any way you want. That's fine. That's very clever. That's good, but about three quarters full. But that should be about right for your bunt tin. That goes in the oven at 200 degrees for 20 minutes. Then for another lower the temperature for another twenty minutes at one hundred and eighty. Mm. One hundred and eighty. Right. And are you on this weekend? I, John and Lisa's is back yes. on the weekend. Welcome back. All the way to Christmas. We're doing Christmas all the way through. Eleven forty on Saturday. Eleven forty on Saturday and Sunday. I think they're going to repeat it if they're nice to us. Brilliant. So that's good. Now, if you want to make ice cream to go with this, I'm really one of those people who gets all concerned about using ice cream churners and all sorts of stuff. So, frozen bananas. Again, the recipe's on the, on the thing. Frozen bananas, mm. a tub of coconut yoghurt, mm. and you put the coconut yoghurt and the frozen bananas into a bowl, but not all the coconut yoghurt. Then take that and you blend it. You take your frozen bananas and coconut yoghurt mixture, so that's now ice cream-ish. You pour that into a bowl, mm. like this. I do it so elegantly, don't I? It's so nice. <laughs> it looks so delicious. Mmm, nice. Then you take the rest of the, rest of the yoghurt, pour that in there, mix it together, and then you take a little bit of this lovely coat, the caramel sauce, which you can buy in jars now. Salted caramel comes in jars, look at this. And you just stir it through, and you put it like a, like a swirl, into a tray, oh. into the freezer, 
That's why that's so good. And then you just freeze it. Is this every flavour combination that you're oh, in love with? I'll just smear this all over my body. <laughs> so, <laughs> brilliant. OK. Me rain. So, <laughs> we've got all the lovely flavours of Happy Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> as you two continue to smear things all over yourselves, <laughs> um, as you get to lovely flavours of Christmas, we've got caramel sauce, we've got cinnamon, we've got all those things going on. We've also got a sort of sunshine of coconut and, and all that sort of thing. And I think this would be really good, right at the last minute, to pour over some spiced rum and then light it on Christmas oh, Day. Instead of a Christmas pudding? Instead of Christmas pudding. Oh, what do you wow. Reckon? Well, I I'm think... a traditionalist and I love a Christmas pudding, but I think a lot more people would prefer this because I understand that Here we not go. everyone loves Christmas pudding. Here we Look go. Look at that. Here we go. Ta-da! Ta -da! That's now, amazing. what happens here is that then it goes to... Thank you very much. Bravo. You that go is a tear, showstuffer. Just, here's the tear and share. So all you do is just each one of those little balls you did... You need to get Now just hot pulls ones. away yeah. like this, and then you have that with your ice cream or your rum or a glass of port or whatever you like. That is really special. And well there's done. the wheel for the wheel in the wheel. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> see? We are good. Not thrown really together, good. this thing. Not at all. It is um, stunning. Thank you. Thank you very, very much for all the details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our This Morning Chefs. Head to the free This Morning app.